Hello! Welcome hey, back. everyone. Welcome back to OKLCS Season 3, Week 3. We're getting into our final game between the Freelance 5 and the Legends in Training. They are currently 1-1 in the series, meaning this next game is yep. for are there all the marbles in the series. Right. We'll go ahead and get into that right away. Without further ado. <coughs> Holy cow. Alright, so it looks like they whoever had side selection declined to change sides after that particular game. Wanted to go back, do it again. Yep, yep. Uh, we have um, some different picks today. Or, not today, this today. game. But, um... <laughs> It looks like the Freelance 5 has, have also opted to change it up as they've moved King Booty into the top lane, Omega Project into the jungle. Yeah, swapping uh, it up. Similar thing going on. Looks like. It, it, I mean, it looks like that uh, Singed was once again banned. Once again banned because Singularity is once again playing Billion. Playing in there. Yeah, yep. Uh, <coughs> uh. Yeah, and Let's then crank waiting with a ward across the dragon pit, Ooh, seeing if anybody sticky. steps into the trap. It, they, do you think that they? No, I mean Carradin, very vocal support main, probably telling his team like, <laughs> "Hey guys, there's a blitz <laughs> there's crank." A blitz crank. Kind of, kind of think that he's invading in 2017 with blitz crank. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Blitz crank's retreating. All right, they're giving it up. They're safe. They're just gonna wait for this red buff and chill. They've got a ward watching that one entrance. Nothing watching the other entrance, but I guess they're just sort of banking on it. Yeah. Um Zig's AD carry on for uh for socks this game. It'll be uh it'll be interesting. I heard I didn't get to see the game, but it did pop up in an LCS game, didn't it? Was well, it it's actually, against it's, it's, it's I gotten, haven't I haven't seen it's it. It's come up a few times in okay. both the LCS and LCK. Gotcha. Um Probably it, usually. What what situations is it usually used in? I want to say Graves Jungle. <laughs> uh, yeah, times to. when you have a lot of physical damage coming from your jungle, which is generally with like a Graves or Kha'Zix. Gotcha. Okay. And yes. uh, generally, it's also very good against low tank compositions uh -huh. when you don't need that consistent need that, damage. Yeah, yeah. Smokin takes a lot of damage from Carrot and Buddy. He lands the hook under Rice Cake Fury. There's no level two, so not too much damage. But he does take quite a bit from Socks on the way out. But Socks being taken by that Him of Valor. <laughs> Things is pretty much just like another niche bot lane any carry kind of person. Just think all magic damage, not good against tanks, still pretty good at taking towers. <laughs> yeah, that's but basically uh, what you, your objective with the Ziggs is to always try and shove in the enemy wave. Mm -hmm. You probably can't do that super early on, but once you get that lost chapter, just shove oh, in the enemy, sure. shove in the enemy laner. Uh, force them to miss CS, get a lot of uh, ambient damage onto the tower. And really, that's always kind of a strategy people try to do in the bot lane. That's kind of always a strategy people try to do in the bot lane. Pushing in the bot lane is very, cause, because CS and experience are so important, it's always a big advantage if you can push like that. And Keridin moving forward so aggressively. Oh, there's the heroic charge on the dust ball, but nothing else to come of it. Dust ball. Basically takes no damage from that one. Bronson showing quite a bit of uh, diversity in his picks this series. Played three different champions: the Anivia, and then of course the uh, the Ari, and now the Lissandra. Yeah, I think of the two, he wasn't tip like bad at Ari, but he was definitely very good at Anivia comparatively. Like. Seems like he had oh, here we go. Down. There's the Ring of Frost. Oh, wow. Roots up Singularity, forces the Flash right out of there because Omega Project was right in the wings. Poppy versus Fiora. Traditionally kind of a prediction matchup. Yes, yeah, skill-based matchup, although the Fiora definitely has more of the initiative in the... Yes. You know, those good Fioras, like, they do the riposte slide into the W yeah. from Poppy. And it's just a tough thing. get a, tough thing get a free stun anytime Poppy's like, hey, I'm gonna put up my W randomly. <laughs> Booty missing quite a bit of CS. Thankfully, he has that bandit master. He gets some, <laughs> some ambient gold. Yeah. That's a fun one to take on Poppy, though. You really do have to commit your passive. Good use of it. Oh, 
almost the double bomb. Didn't quite land it. But Graves is coming in for a gank on Zillion. But the camera's not going to show because Zillion's speed boosts away. Graves doesn't even get any damage. There's the heroic charge on the dust ball. Oh, Rice Creek Fury actually took uh, Ooh, the take grab of socks. In the minion wave, takes some damage from the Sona, of course. Yeah, that's another thing about the Ziggs. Probably gonna have a rough time in some of those longer trades. And here's the the thing about Sona is like she's all everyone kind of knows her as like a very low skill cap champion, uh, very high damage in the laning phase. Um, I mean statistically she is the lowest skill cap champion. The discrepancy, <laughs> holy Ooh. cow! The flash filled over Peacemaker burns the summoner heal out of socks. But that's flash down for Rice Cake Fury, so might be a potential target for Shogo in the future here. But um, Sona can be very effective. Oh, for um, sure. And the Sona mains, it's really interesting because Sona is the one champion that you get so much more utility from stacking AP that it's actually <laughs> that's, better. That's true. <laughs> to stack, it's like it's better to stack AP on Sona in the support role uh, than, than compared to like going AP on Karma support or yeah. AP Lulu support. Yeah, because the, they when they when they were reworking her, they were really big on making mages. Oh, up. hold on! There's the ultimate from Dustball, and the steadfast presence already used. The slow goes down to the King Booty, the ignite. Ooh, Kind of secure, I think. Yeah, oh, but here we go. Rice Cake Fury gets flipped over his shoulder. He throws in the 90 caliber net. He's going to get smited down in the top. The little bomb will find him, not the time bomb. Oh, Schmogen looking for it. Sox throws out a lot of damage. He flashes out from under the tower range. Keridin nicely not walking through the explosive minefield. <laughs> will be a quick kill over to the Legends and Training to follow up that first blood solo kill. Dustball has been going for very aggressive, uh, he's taking Ignite every game. He has. I mean, last game, I think you can say it paid off decently well. I mean, he still had a decent car kill participation via Roams, and had a good KDA, had a good laning phase. Oh, the Legends in training, they're gonna- oh, the Ocean Trick <laughs> resets a little bit. Are taking, uh, it's taking a lot more time than, uh, they were really prepared to, uh, commit to that, but <laughs> yeah. they get it in the end. They were 300 gold up. Gonna Oops. hand this over to the Zillion. Looks like it's Booty just going. Oh, nice roam from Brums and finds Socks and Socks just rooted up in place. In the there's the ultimate even still used available for Schmogen, but they don't have quite as much damage available to them. They do find at least one kill. Ace in the hole, not going to be enough to get on the Schmogen. What do you think of Lissandra as a pick in general? Right now. Um, just curious. I I think in uh, up against a lot of the meta mid laners, she's kind of weaker. Doesn't have quite as um, available wave clear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, one of the sad things is she usually has to use her E to get a nice clean clear, but then that's her yeah. escape of mobility. And then of course her passive is basically worthless, but <laughs> uh, definitely has its place if you're playing like a, up against a team that's like has a single carry. Then Lissandra can be really effective there. Just press R on that one person and they get focused down. Socks actually takes a lot of damage, but Keridin gets pulled into tower range. He didn't have tower aggro, but now Shogo is just going to flip him over his shoulder. Rice Cake Fury came way too far forward. He did get the kill on Socks, but he will fall to a double kill over to Shogo. Yeah, when the Volibear came in there, it looked like Socks kind of hesitated in leaving, but with the long attack range on that Caitlyn and his low health, he just kind of turned around, threw out that last auto, picked up the kill on Socks. So yeah, Lissandra has a lot of nice AoE lockdown abilities. A good source of engage for uh, for a team. <laughs> you think that Galio will be able to be played mid lane? <laughs> I do. I think Galio is like he's designed to be a mid lane champion. 
The new one? Yeah, the okay. new one. Oh, hold on, Omega Project. Shogo might have stayed a little bit too long, but he's gonna get flipped over his shoulder. They both have level six, Shogo. They use a Sagittal Charge to disengage the fight. Keratin cannot chase through that explosive might field. Bronson actually getting chased down into the mid lane by Singularity. He's slowed up, he's gonna take the glacial path right out of there. Oh, Smogan looking for the grab, but he does not find it. And Dust Ball. He's a decent chunk of CS ahead over King Booty, but a little bit more hesitant to go for these straight up trades now. Not finding the vitals quite, quite there. Oh, Keratin auto attacking while standing in one place means the time bomb is gonna find him. Singularity picks up that kill with the second time bomb. They slow up. Rice Cake Fury Satchel Charge disengages the fight. Dust Ball now aggressing onto him. Shogun comes forward. He's looking for a grab, but he's not gonna find one. Yeah, don't don't just stand there and auto. <laughs> Generally, not a little bit. Make yourself a little bit unpredictable. They've already used the Mecha Inferno. That's Ball doing the classic. I'm gonna send this bush and make you think I'm gone. Oh, oh here, here he goes. Ooh, and, ooh, doesn't get the nice kill. Nice steadfast presence from King Booty, but it did burn the flash. The first bomb finds Bronson. The second one will find him as well. There's the nice double stun. The Thunderlord's proc will the second one. Yes, it will be. Bromson probably should have just ulted himself. Yeah, I, maybe he didn't think I was going to kill him, or maybe he panicked. But definitely could have ulted himself and not died there. Well, yeah, probably not died. Yeah, a lot of people... In case you forgot, the most recent... Hold on a second. Rice Cake Fury gets pulled in. The Satchel Charge is going to knock him up. The heal will be enough to keep him alive through the Thunderlord Lord from Sox. He used it earlier when they were trying to secure that kill on the Sona. Scared him? Sorry, what were you about to say? Um, a lot of people don't remember, but uh, the Lissandra ultimate, you, when you self-cast it, it actually heals you for a percentage of your missing health. Yeah. It used to be flat, wasn't it? And then they changed it, it to It used else to never, it life. used to not heal you. Oh, you're right, that's what it was. It used to not heal you, they added that. Yeah, but this is definitely not the way a Zig's bottom lane is supposed to go. Rice Cake Fury up. It was Echo 20 plus heal, CSO. Oh, Bromson right finds Singularity over the wall. He uses. They stun each other. <laughs> Singularity still also had the Colonel Shift available. He was basically in no danger. I thought the turret shots might give the edge and put Singularity in a rough spot, but not quite. Now, Legends in Training starting off onto this uh, Herald, but there's no one attacking it from behind. That's uh, what you need to do when you're taking this Herald, is you need to auto-attack it from behind with somebody. I'm not sure if they're going to have the, the to damage to do this. Shogo's passive is burning away. He's using his health to get back up there. Singularity tanking it up. Of course, melee up. He uh, looks like they decided to use the ultimate to secure. Yeah, but it's going to be off by the time this last off. Okay, no. Just barely. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? That was close. <laughs> Not really the best use of Chrono Shift, but, um, I mean, I guess it gets you the Rift Herald. <laughs> the Rift Herald, oh my gosh, He uses the Crescendo, but Sox was the one who got turret aggro. Another bomb lands, a Mega Inferno bomb is gonna be used? Not gonna nope. find him. Came back for it. Ooh. Oh, but here comes Omega Project. Satchel Charge is gonna be used to get Socks away, but he just uh, goes down to the collateral damage ace, and the hole was channeled, but it will be put on a short cooldown, but it's not gonna kill off. So smoke so why use it? That's while going in on the King Booty. He's auto attacking and down King Booty actually yeah, getting the better of the, the trade with that Ninja Tobbies. Sunfire trying to hang on. Yeah, and then not Sunfire. Oh, so they pull Keratin in. They get a kill. Smogan finds that one without the help of Shogo. Thunderlord's on to Smogan, but he will go down. Rice Cake Curry with another good headshot. Shogo will fall to a double kill. Shogo probably didn't need to use his flash there. And since his passive is down from the Rift Herald without the flash and the passive there. At those final moments, he's, uh, his death was secure. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so the Freelance 5 will secure first tower of the game in the bottom lane. And that's definitely not what you expect when you're playing a Ziggs lane. To have your tower be the one that goes <laughs> down first. Yeah. That execute. So, so, so powerful. And, uh, these early game scenarios especially. Yeah. You're just kind of nicking away at a tower, but it has so much, like, 
a fourth to a third less health just kind of just because Ziggs is nearby. Oh, Bronson taking a little uh -oh. bit there. Now King, King Booty's himself. in trouble. He's going to knock Ooh. Dust Ball away. Gets the Courage of the Colossus Shield from it. Close call. Does burn the Ignite away from Sir Dust Ball. King Booty going to be able to recall. Teleport back up to the lane. It looks like he's going to stay. Socks takes away the blue buff. And to clear away this pink ward. Legends in training are going to be the ones who invade aggressively into the bottom side jungle of the Freelance 5. King Booty is starting to fall behind in CS. He pops that steadfast presence. There's the repost already used. Grab so the shield, King Booty. King Booty not picking up that shield. <laughs> they trade pretty evenly. Ninja Tabi's doing a really good job at negating a lot of Sir Dustball's damage. Legends in training. Oh, the rocket grabs so close to finding Omega Project. He uh -oh. actually flashes back in. He doesn't gonna get the crescendo off Omega Project throwing down as much damage as he can, acing the hole onto Sushrogi and the Chrono Shift onto him as well. King Booty now actually flashes, knocks Dust Ball into the tower. He uses the repost and he's gonna put down damage onto King Booty. He gets the heal, flashes out of tower range. A solo kill in the top lane over to the Fiora once again. King Booty just needs to grab the shield, man. The Legends in Training will secure that dragon for themselves, but they only lost one. This isn't First Tower. First Tower did happen in the bot lane in favor of Freelance 5. That'll be Second Tower of the game. Singe Delirity teleporting back into the mid lane here. Not sure how necessary that was. You had members of the Legends in Training already there. <laughs> Didn't need to teleport in there to wave clear or anything to save a tower. In general, it's better to just, like, save your teleport for when you're really gonna need it. Legends in training with the Ziggs Execute will pick up the second tower for themselves. Oof, the right after those two pretty recent turret pickups, that's gonna put them ahead by a tower and also ahead by about 1k in gold. Yeah, that is the case. Tearing away some traps mm. and getting caught by the ghost. That is a very revealed bear. <laughs> so Omega if he project. steps in it, does that make it a bear trap instead of a Yordle trap? I mean, it's, it's already a bear trap. It's just called the ability is called Yordle <laughs> Snap Trap, but it's the the item itself that he puts down is just a bear trap with a cupcake on it. Is, Which I think is, is very terror, Alex. It's very <laughs> stereotypical. I mean, who's to say that all Yordles like cupcakes? That's so true. Dude, that's like racist, racist. racist. Holy crap. Holy cow. Alright, they're gonna up, uh, level up uh, Socks as they take away this minion wave. That's a lot of wave clear on the side of the Legends in Training at the very least. Oh, Smogan looking for a grab. He's gonna not quite get Rice Cake. Oh, double time bomb used. Oh, he goes in Bronson with a nice Ring of Frost. It eliminates Socks from the map. Singularity still has the Chrono Shift available. The <laughs> he's not even gonna use it on himself. He's just <laughs> he like, okay, I'm good. Going down. That was such a good engage from Bromson. Nice yeah. Ring of Frost onto both of the carries of the Legends in Training. And then just ults right on top of them. Some of these champions like Lissandra do get a nice little perk uh, when they're not super in meta of people underestimating what you can do. Oh, a book lands on the Omega Project, but they're focusing down the tower. But Sir Dustball is here. Nice Ring of Frost roots them both up. And Sir Dustball now very low ace in the hole. Him. He's already used the repost. It's blocked up by Sir Smogan. Now with the root. Mega Inferno Bomb, I'm gonna land on Omega Project, <laughs> but not enough damage. Ooh, pulls Bromson in, he's gonna get flipped over to the shoulder, the Satchel Charge already used as well. Bromson will fall into the Thunderlord's proc from Socks, but he will fall instead. Rice Cake Fury finds a Rampage by killing off Shogo, who died with his flash up. Yeah, Rice Cake Fury had a really good first game, and second game was a little bit rougher. I think that was the Ezreal game, he had a good mid game. They eventually went down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But starting to pull ahead for his team here. Yeah. yeah. You know, don't forget the uh, don't forget the support when talking about the AD carry. Carrot <laughs> did have a pretty mean early game on the and the uh, blah blah blah. Sona.
Not to call it Zarya, I've played too much Overwatch. Uh, Sonya. Alright, ah, teleport, no, that's, teleport is going to be used here, but it's probably not going to... Oh, it does come through, but the Satchel Charge executes the tower. <laughs> Alright, the Rod of Ages finished off for Singed Hilarity. Morella Namicon for Socks, and it looks like, based on the Sapphire Crystal, I can only assume that's going to be a Lich Bane. Second item. Not not at all bad, it's really good for uh, Ziggs' tower taking potential. Yeah. Usually you don't see Ziggs go that as much in the mid lane, but usually you do in the bottom. Yeah. And they feel like I need to help one shot towers. <laughs> because this is that's my job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Sir Dustball is going to find Omega Project in the jungle. Sheridan finds a control ward in, hidden in his side of the jungle and says, Hey, get out of here. Oh, Keridan gets pulled in by the rocket grab after the double time bombs, and he will fall for it. King Booty nice gets stuff. a nice uh, heroic charge onto Shogo, and it looks like he that slow will be enough to get him out of there. Dustball actually taking quite Don't a bit go of back damage in. there. Oh. <laughs> Mastery rank four. <laughs> All right, looks like teams are moving towards the recently spawned Baron, though they're not going to go for it. King Booty oh. getting a little bit cocky here, though. Oh wait, his team is coming. Right. Never mind. Never mind. His team's Flip coming. It's not cocky. There, but he heroic Can he charge wait? onto Shogo. Can he He's going Use it, Bromson gets the kit, uh, ultimate onto Dust Ball, Riposte comes down, but they've already lost their tank, King Booty's already dead, but Omega Project and Rice Kick Fury auto-attacking down onto Shogo, Shogo will fall down. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think Bromson used his ult onto Fiora there, it got reposted. kind of, I guess it's a targeted insta-cast, so it was a little bit lucky, but... Ooh, he used the collateral damage trying to catch Sir Dust Ball, but it will not find him, he already got his recall up. Omega Project going for the Black Cleaver second after his Warrior Enchant. Yeah, I, I think that there was a, you know, quote-unquote bug fix a while back that let Graves proc um, Black Cleaver based on how many particles he yeah, had his auto attack. Yeah, so that was the case. Not quite as effective on Graves anymore because of that bug fix. Mm -hmm. But um, you, see a lo you see a lot of Graves do in fact build it because it's a good source of tankiness, it's armor shred. It's not as much damage as like the lethality Graves build. No, no, I, th or... I think the bug fix was to make it to where it did proc. Oh, where it does? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what that was. Oh, I think okay. they changed it to where it like stacks it almost completely from an auto attack. Well, that's yeah, pretty yeah. interesting. I think it's still not, it's still not going to be as much damage no, 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 burst no. as the that's lethality why they don't build, build, but um, it is a, quite a nice item on Graves. It gives you some of that HP. Caitlyn gonna slowly clear away those Krugs, pick up some more gold. King Booty pressing up against this tower. He has almost all armor, er, almost <clears throat> all armor for this stage of the game, aside from that Spectre. So turret shots not hurting too bad. But looks like several members roaming out. They're gonna have a hard time killing this Poppy later in the game. Fiora is pretty much their only hope of taking her down, and it's gonna still take her. Decent, decent amount of time. Decent. Yeah, most of the time though, Dust Ball is building towards the Titanic Hydra. If I'm if I'm assuming correctly, like that Jaren's fist not going to go into a surprise stair <laughs> or anything like that. Hey, but, hey, um, hey, frozen mallet, man. Come on. <laughs> but uh, you actually see, mo oh, the Singularity getting get caught by King Booty with a heroic charge into the wall. He's going to use the oh, Chrono Shift on his stuff. Coming, He's waiting, trying to stall for Dust Ball to get in there, and he will fall to a <laughs> collateral damage auto attack from King Booty. Um, uh oh. Rom's together. Nice. Hop himself nice back. Nice but uh, most Fiora actually go for the Ravenous Hydra. Once you get the Black Cleaver, shred through all your armor, the Ravenous Hydra for wave clear, and then maybe another lifesteal item like the Bloodthirster um, or lifesteal, tanks can't do anything to you anymore. Yeah, yeah. Tanks do have a hard time 1v1ing you, <laughs> even after those two items, but <laughs> especially after those three. Like, the, that's, the, that's the split push Fiora core build. Oh, Smogan coming in on the Omega Project, knocks him into the air, but King Booty will knock him into the wall. Shogo gonna slow him up with the lightning roar, but Omega Project will get quick draws forward. There's the Brahms in the Glacial Path, but that means he doesn't have it for the engage. All right. Mega Inferno Bomb comes down on the, the free, just behind the Freelance Fire, I rather. Don't. Oh, Keridan looking for it. He's coming forward really fast with that. He gets the jump onto Shmogan, who gets knocked into the wall. Thunderlord's proc, and the Mono Berry is not going to be enough. Omega Project gets the kill. Satchel Charge knocks away the other members of the Freelance Five to avoid any more engage. No, I think the Singed main in Singularity has prompted him to teleport to the bot lane. 
I think had Freelance 5 noticed that sooner, they could have taken that opportunity for maybe a Baron. Mm -hmm. But it looks like they are going to send their own mem another member of their team to stop the push and then just try to siege this town instead. The Baron was a very real possibility after Zillion teleported to Bot <laughs> Just in general, you don't you don't really want to expend your teleport to move to split push. You just sort of want to walk there, mm -hmm. start pushing, and then use your teleport the, to. The only time it's ever team. gonna be useful is if it's like literally like I can get two towers if yeah, I teleport right, right now. But like if it's like oh, I'm gonna just go down here and start pushing, they're all alive. It's, it's not, not really worth, worth it. it. Yeah, it's no, not no. worth it. Inferno Bomb used- Oh! Rice King Fury is very low! He dodges away from that Time Bomb, but Bromson's now caught! He's gonna get pulled away from the wall by uh, Shmogan, and Shogo bites him down. <laughs> he didn't have Flash either, unfortunately, so he was gonna have a rough time. <laughs> he wanted to get near the wall. He used his E, decided not to take it, but then the tank showed up on his side of the wall. And he was like, uh, okay, maybe I should have taken that. <laughs> All right, well, that Lissandra down. I mean, this is a really close yeah. game in the series. Legends in training only down by about 300 gold. But King Booty going to get pulled in. He gets flipped over, but Sox is like, I didn't want that guy next to me. <laughs> the Omega Project now getting jumped on, but Shogo getting focused down by the double marksman. They use the summoner heal to run away because King Booty is on the chase. The legends in training are shoving in this top lane. There's a teleport in from Bronson. He roots up Dust Ball. He gets used to the ultimate as well, but that's uh, not a whole lot of damage on the Fiora. It takes out about half of his HP, but that's all of his cooldown. Singularity flashes Ooh. over the wall, but right into Omega Project. He double stun onto King Booty. He's getting chased down, but they clips the wall with the end of the line. He's going to be able to boost himself out of there with that time warp. Yeah, had the Mega Project been a little bit more prepared for Singularity oh. coming around that wall, I think he could have... Double time bombs, oh, gotta be flashed away from by Omega Project! He just blows him up at the end of the line into the wall. Really nice play from the jungler of uh, the Freelance 5. The Singularity didn't even see it coming, could have Chrono Shifted. <laughs> Singularity has not been having the best luck with these Chrono Shifts throughout the series. Too early in the last game, not at all this game. There, there, that one time he didn't ult, yeah, he was going down either way. But that time, might have been able to uh, help stall for his team. But it's on a pretty short cooldown, in general. Okay, the Freelance 5 pick up the outer tower in the top lane. Will even him up and put themselves in a 2.5k gold lead. He's gonna knock <laughs> Dust Ball away with that Keeper's Verdict, but Freelance 5 are getting the inhib or the tower in the mid lane. That'll put him ahead. Four towers to three. They have 3k gold. Bromson has been going for. Hold on a second, Dust Ball is gonna get rooted up by the Ring of Frost, they turn it around. Oh, but Shogo is gonna flip over, Omega Project can be had a quick turn over the wall, but the pull onto Bromson, he ults himself, getting that heal off, but he's running, he's gonna Zanyas away the Mega Inferno Bomb as well, Satchel Charge he's knocks out. him away, and he's out! Nice crescendo from Keridin, finds two members of the Le Legends in Training, the Chrono Ship did go down, but Sox will fall shortly afterwards. Ooh, almost takes down Rice Cake Fury as Yeah, Rice Cake down. actually 90 caliber knighted through the explosive <laughs> minefield. But two quick kills onto the Legends in Training by a nice crescendo from Keridin. Yeah, really good crescendo, really <laughs> good stalling out of uh, Bromson's Lissandra. Really just... <laughs> they just kind of let all the pieces fall into place as the other team got really greedy for that Lissandra kill. Yeah, the overcommit, the crowding around the Lissandra who is just going to have Zanya's back up. It's very disorienting for a team. <laughs> and you're like, ah, oh, crap, we got to wait for a few seconds. And you're like, you're so focused on getting him. As soon as he comes up, the other team and is the just like team collapsing is moving around, around you. Exactly. Gotta get that guy. <laughs> the blue buff kind of walked in a weird little circle there. Oh, uh, yeah, but it was feared up <laughs> yeah. by. Yo, Keridin coming in, he's like, hey, I'm the support, I want this. Keridin actually now needs to be very careful. He's getting collapsed on by Socks now. He has to flash over yeah, the wall. I, th I think uh, he expected Bromson to come over the wall with him, but Bromson was like, we can't we can't take this. We, we can't take down this tank right now. Actually, Drogo doesn't have very much magic, magic resistance at all. They might have been able to take him. Yeah, well, probably not because... 
It's been a recurring trend this in the series, but Bronson, he's been playing really well, but he's going for very high utility builds uh, on yes, his I mid laners, but very low damage builds. Gotcha. Lasagna's Hourglass, of course, is very much more a defensive AP item nowadays. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Okay. Sunfire Spirit Visage. The Iceborne soon to finish off for King Booty. Gonna make him very difficult to duel for uh, these AD top and jungle champions on the side of the Legends and Training. Using their sp their push advantage, they have a lot of wave push on Ziggs and Zillion. They're just gonna use the Satchel Charge to destroy the tower and the double time bomb on a carrot. Crescendo, not gonna save his life because the Mega Inferno Bomb already in the air. But here comes Omega Project, double time bomb stuns him up. And their singularity will get the chrono ship, but it doesn't matter because he's already gonna go down and nice and Yordle snap trap will ca keep him in place. They find two for one, but they lose the power. I'm not mistaken, Zillion and Bully Bear are not friends, right? They're yeah, enemies. yeah. Okay, Zillion sorry, and Bully Bear hate each that. other. Funny, because you know, as far as Bully Bear's synergy with other champions goes, he has some pretty decent synergy yeah. with, uh, <laughs> with Zillion. I don't know. Maybe with the speed boost, yeah. No, but, that's what I know. That's uh, what I meant. That's what his, I meant. I just meant helps him run at the other team faster. <laughs> his uh, his passive in this zillion ult can be true. really. He's like, oh, you're about to die. I'm gonna ult you, but then he's like, boom, 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 back up. <laughs> Oh, right, right. Oh, the Freelance trying to sustain, but he's good. He's, he's so somebody low. else to take the Oh, hole. gets the heal ah. from the area of Perseverance. Keeps him alive. King Booty now going to be the one to tank up the Baron. It's going down Oh, there's fast. a teleport once again to the bot lane from Singularity. And there's the Baron this time. Mega Inferno Bomb used. Not going to be finding anyone. Yeah, send one of your members back to stop the Singularity push, and then just send four members right up the middle. Yeah, Singular or uh, the Freelance 5 pick up an easy Baron, no contest. Didn't even probably know it was going down. Sox throws out the Mega Inferno Bomb saying, hey, maybe one of them is low? <laughs> <laughs> well, one of them was. Oh, Brobson finds Singularity, double time bomb, not going to stun him up. He's going to take that one. The Chrono Shift, not going to matter. He's going to get caught by the Yordle Snap Trap as soon as he comes back up. Rice Cake Fury goes legendary. Meanwhile, the top lane, though, Sox does pick up a tower with that pretty crazy Ziggs tower damage. He has the Lich Bane. He has the W. Oh, oh King Booty. King Booty is going to find him. He jumps onto him. Shogo's like, flips him back over, but Sox is going to be in trouble here. Dust Ball getting jumped up by Brums and a nice Ring of Frost once again. Ace in the hole coming out. Repost no longer available. It will secure the kill. Flash away from Sir Schmogan and the Freelance 5. They have both solo laners down for a little bit. Your Shogo might... He looking yeah, he's he's fight. on the wrong side of this though. The freelance fight, they have Baron minions. They just get themselves in, get the tower. The Mega Inferno Bomb not gonna matter at all because the tower's already gone. The freelance fight find the mid in him. Ooh, Flash four from Singularity. He gets the double time bomb. Nice pull, but Omega Project still alive. Knocks away Volley <laughs> Baron. Singularity <laughs> again. Uh -oh, Caught Omega by Project that one. Omega going Project down. will go time bomb. Not gonna be enough. Keratin gonna be able to heal him up with the area of perseverance. Get away, Scuttle Crab. Get away. <laughs> Scuttle Crab eating the uh, honey fruit or whatever it's called. Yeah, honey fruit. Such a cool little interaction they threw in. It's adorable. Until you need the fruit. Then it's no longer adorable. And we saw Omega Project with a really nice Renekton game last game. Or wait, no. Sorry, that was the other top lane. I'm silly. <laughs> no uh, worries, no worries. Omega Project doing really well this game is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. He has the Black Cleaver, he has a Phantom Dancer, he has a Steric Gage. He's going to be a surprisingly tanky Graves. It's going to be a tough one for them to deal with, especially without an AD carry. Sir Dustball was the Renekton that I was yes. thinking of. Yes, but he unfortunately, he, he's 2-1-1, one, and one, but he's not able to... Oh, <laughs> Shogo takes away the blue <laughs> He's not been able to find quite as much impact on this Fiora as he would have liked. They're not letting him split push. He's not 
going to the appropriate sides of the map, and a lot of that has to do with the fact he has no teleport. Singularity getting jumped on by King Booty. They pull in Bronson, who's just going to be able to ult uh, Zanyas himself. Sir Dustball goes to the Rapost. Bronson ults himself in the meantime. He will be able to survive if he goes in. Glacial Path actually inward. Shoko getting focused down by the Legends in training. Bronson actually goes in aggressively, and he's going to be able to survive. Sox will take him out in the end, but the Ace of the Hole secured that kill. Lane. Yeah, there's a big minion wave already built up and Singed Hilarity, the only one alive. Four members of the Freelance Five rushing it down mid. They still have the Baron. Double Time Bomb is going to stall them for just a little bit. But Those it looks like the Freelance I'm Five gonna are going to be the ones who take this win away as Bryce K. Fury crits onto I Singed Hilarity, almost takes him out. All right, with 10 seconds until the next member and that member being Let's crank. this is safe to say that this is the series for Freelance Five. Yeah. Freelance 5 will take the series 2-1 over the Legends yeah. in Training. Uh, Legends in Training seemed to have a better macro play throughout the game. They had two more dragons. They had the side lanes whittled down quite a bit down to the inhibitor towers. But at the end of the game there, they just lost a pretty crucial team fight. And Freelance 5 was able to capitalize that and take it right at mid. Freelance 5, despite those being down in objectives like that, was actually ahead in gold by a decent margin. I know it's hard to tell from right now since we... We're looking at it a little bit ago, but they were ahead in gold a decent margin. Yeah, yep, yeah, that is so. definitely the case. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but that back. will be uh, the end of the series for us. We'll be getting to you with uh, at least one game from the next series. At least one game. They seem to have had... Uh, it. The next round is... Um, it is... <laughs> It's the Thunder Buddies for Life. Thank you, the Thunder Trill Buddies Boys. for Life versus Trill Boys. I, I, was, I knew it was Trill Boys. I couldn't remember the other team for a second. All right. Yeah. But yeah, we'll get that to you in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching, guys.